Wearing glasses and two black eyes, Michael Strauss looked a little different today. From him, an admission and an apology. Since then, it has been my life goal and ambition to use the values to bring things into the world, not take things out, to create and to not destroy. In that regard, I have failed. I not only failed myself, I have failed society, I have failed my family, I have failed Ellie's family. And most of all, I failed Ellie. Ellie Wyke was just 23 years old when Strauss stalked and murdered her. He then buried her body in a field off Milliken Road. I think the motive in this case is perversity. This case reads like a crime novel, but a horror novel at that. Ellie's mother and sister tell me they never speak Strauss's name and didn't today either when they address the court in front of dozens of supporters, many wearing tie-dye in Ellie's honor. I'm haunted by the fear and horror Ellie felt looking at her murderer through plastic with tape around her neck and her wrist as Ellie took her last breath. Tam White says she prays Strauss's life sentence is never shortened by parole. I'm without my only sister. One day when I have kids, they won't get to meet their aunt. They won't get to know her love of nature and the world or her love of others. Immediately after sentencing, Ellie's family and friends began showing that same love to others, sharing hugs and thanking the Westchester Police Department and Butler County prosecutors for a job well done. They also handed out Easter eggs for people to sign and write positive messages they will be hung this Sunday on a tree planted in Ellie's honor. And I had a chance to sit down with Ellie's mother and sister last week, and they told me they really want Ellie's story uh, to live on, uh, how she lived, not how she died. And their message to the community, let's all make it a point to spread more kindness and love. Reporting live in Hamilton, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.